what are the most common mistakes when it comes to messaging candidates? Check out this video right now and find out. Hey, welcome to The Millionaire Recruiter. I'm Brianna Rooney, your Millionaire Recruiter. If you have not seen this channel before, it is all about upping your game in the recruiting industry. So let's get to it. All right. So when you are messaging candidates, it's really your responsibility to earn their response. Have you thought about that? I'll say it again. It is your responsibility to earn their response. No one is required to respond to you. So if you've been hearing crickets on the other side of your in-mails or email sequences, let's find out why. So there's about five of the most common mistakes that people make when doing messaging. First, I see a lot is they make the message about themselves. So they're trying to sell themselves. Hey, hey, so-and-so, um, my name's Brandon. I've been recruiting for 14 years. This is why you should get back to me. Nobody cares who's Brianna, <laughs> you know, not about you, not about you. It is about the candidate, right? Second one, a lot of people don't make messages very personal. So on the other side of the coin, you want to get out a lot of messages because at the end of the day, it's all about timing. And if it's all about timing, then it's all about how many messages you get out. True and false. So although I believe it's all about timing, it's not, does it always have to be a numbers game? Although it can go back to that in a couple different aspects of recruiting. But the bottom line is if you're not making it personal, you're not making an impact and therefore you're not earning their response. So you need to make sure that you have looked at their profile. And I'm not saying that every single message you send has to be completely tailored from start to finish, not for every candidate. That's not happening, right? <laughs> then we don't have enough time in the day. However, you can have a nice shell of a message that you're really happy with, like maybe like the beginning and the ending. And then you just put, you know, the personalization in the middle and that should not take you a lot of time. And then if you're on a really good search for a particular role, essentially a lot of those people are doing about the same thing and you want them for the same role if you're in a good search. So you should be able to personalize it very quickly. Definitely worth it. On the other side of the coin, some people get too personal. So it could be uh, not only just too personal, like, like they've researched someone too much, which is like, it just makes you feel weird. But I've seen messages where the recruiter gets too personal with them and is trying to make like uh, instant connection. But the whole thing is, is you can't make that much of an instant connection unless you are online dating. <laughs> That's not your job as a recruiter, okay? So do not get too personal. Uh, the other thing I see a lot is people are not direct enough. So there's these lengthy messages. There's like the, all the fillers. Hi, how are you? My name's Brianna. Uh, I just saw your profile. I think it's amazing. It's very impressive. Like those were all just fillers. Um, on the other side of the coin, even if we're talking about clients, I mean, the, a lot of people do filler stuff on that too, which is a different video. <laughs> but um, yeah, you gotta get right to the point, you know, like, why, why is this person going to respond to you? What is this message about? I know if I see something super lengthy, I'm not reading it unless I, unless, unless the first sentence or two catches me. So think in your mind, you have one to two, two sentences tops to get that person to read the rest and then respond to you. Be direct, be to the point. Why is that person getting back to you? And then fifth reason why I feel like people are not responding to messages and they're doing it wrong is a lot of recruiters ask for too much. Again, this goes back to lengthy, but it doesn't have to be lengthy to ask too much. Here's the thing. You give, they give, you give, they give, it all goes back and forth. But even if like someone's getting back to me and we're starting this relationship, I am not ever going to ask more than two questions or, or should I should say, ask them to do more than two things in my message. Even though, yes, if I sent, like, let's say I want to get an intake via um, in mail or email, I'm not going to just send all of my questions unless someone actually says, Hey, Brianna, I'm super busy. Like if I don't have time for a call, I don't have time to go back and forth. If you could just send me all of the questions you have, I can get that back to you. Like later today, I'll totally make time. That is the only exception. So remember as that you're going through like the videos and I'm giving you different advice, remember this is just you know, it encompasses almost everything, but there's always an exception to every rule. So, you know, you know, sometimes 
um, being too personal work for someone and it just hit a struck a chord, but that's just not the norm. So do not ask them for too much. You need to then you be direct and then you just have a call to action. And that call to action should be very clear. Like, hey, uh, take a look at Google. Let me know if this is a, an opportunity that interests you. Let me know either way is how I, would, I like to say that. Of course, there's going to be a little more meat and potatoes in that message, but I want that call to action to be very, very easy. Okay. Do not ask too much of them. Do not ask for their resume in that first outreach. They don't know you. Why are they sending you their resume? It's very personal. Even though technically LinkedIn is the resume, it's still, once they send it, it's essentially yours to send out. And that's just a wrong mindset. So what we learned today, remember it is your responsibility to earn their response. Messages are not about you. They must be personalized but don't get too personal on your side of things. Remember, it's personal about the candidate and why they're gonna get back. You must be direct and to the point. Do not waste their time and do not ask them for too much. So I hope that this struck a chord on some people and you're like, oh, why am I doing that? And then you can switch up your messaging. It's very simple to do, switch it up and use the new messaging and always think, what would I get back to? What have I gotten back to? If I'm getting 50 messages a day, which one am I gonna be responding to? Is it the one you're writing? I don't know, but hopefully moving forward, it's gonna be. So I hope you enjoyed this. I would love to hear, you know, always where, what, um, you know, inspires you, what questions you have. The responses have been amazing. Again, I have to apologize. Remember, I did take down my Millionaire Recruiter course. It's only for your benefit and it should be back up and going by hopefully November. Um, actually, I feel, I feel good about that, but it's only because I wanted to make sure I stayed up on all the trends and I was giving you the best information because the, the market does change. It's candidate driven right now. So I think there needs to be a couple added features in that course. Uh, but keep watching these videos because I'll see you, see you every Thursday at noon. And do not forget that money is just a vessel that gets you to do all the amazing things you want to go do in life. Go do it. See you next week.